Hello, everybody. Welcome to our welcome back to our Monday live broadcasts. We bring you lots of interesting interviews with amazing people from around the world involved in tourism and travel. Today we have with us uh, a very special guest, Vanya Vanya Budimir from Croatia, who is a Croatia specialist and one of our favorite guides that we've worked with many times in Croatia. And the name of our uh, chit chat today is called. Croatia Uncovered. Vanya, it's great to see you. Thank you for inviting me and thank you for this delicious uh, uh, speech about me. <laughs> well, and, and you're and you're not just Croatian. Are you? There's a difference between a Croatian and a Dalmatian, isn't that true? Oh yes. How long you it, it 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 you needed to figure out the difference between Croatian and Dalmatian? Please tell me, or you got it like immediately. Well, I think I think within the first couple of days of traveling with you around Croatia, I could tell there was a difference because even there's certain words that are only used in Dalmatia, and if you're in in Zagreb, the capital city, you wouldn't know what that meant, right? What's that special word? The Dalmatian word. Oh, we have we have them a lot. <laughs> you have them a lot. I don't know which which one is your favorite one, but that's true. It's really nice because then you can you know walk in the, in the capital city and no one understands you. You know they think that you speak Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's the also slight, yeah, there is also slight uh, problem when I go to the north part of Croatia. I don't understand the thing. So is it that yeah. different? Yeah. It's really interesting because Croatia, you know, it's so small and we have so many dialects. Like sometimes you have been in Zadar and we'll talk about a little bit of Zadar and there is an island just in front of the city and sometimes I don't understand them. So, yeah, I think that there is a maybe universal language that we use and you know which one is it. Oh, that, of course, of course. That's... Uh Rakia? <laughs> <laughs> That's love. <laughs> love, the international okay. language of love. Rakia, it helps. <laughs> but Vanya, what is this word about like, just live life, enjoy life, uh, relax? Wow. Oh, your favorite one, yeah. It's fiaka. Fiaka, yes, fiaka. fiaka. It's, a, it's a bit, a, it's a level up of uh, Italian dolce far niente. Okay. And we entered in a kind of philosophy of uh, doing nothing but really living the life with the full lungs and um, just being and being happy and grateful. Grateful, yes. It, it reminds me a lot of Pura Vida, which is the Costa Rica saying, Pura Vida, just enjoy life. So I think that a lot of people who, a lot of, uh, yeah, people who live uh, near the sea, they, they have that kind of uh, words. So pura vida, dolce far niente, dolce vita, all that is fiaca. Fiaca. Well, great. I want to cut to this uh, uh, game that we're going to play with you today. We're going to do this interview a little bit differently. Instead of asking you questions and having you answer, we're going to do a game show. We're going to show you a picture or a video and then we're going to get you to tell us what's going on here. So uh, I know you get lots of interesting tourists to Croatia and uh, um, people from all around the world. And I want to I want to know if you've seen such a tourist as this one here. We're going to cut to this photograph here. And uh, can you tell us, is this uh, is this person, <laughs> if you come to Croatia a lot, <laughs> well, I think that I know the girl, yeah, she was in the city, yeah, but unfortunately I was not guiding her, so she uh, was in your group? She was in a group, she had a group, she had a, like an entourage, did she? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, that was a, a, a picture from Game of Thrones, which was filmed in the, cap in the city of Dubrovnik. Uh, Dubrovnik is a beautiful city, Vanya. Tell us a couple of things about Dubrovnik. Why should we go there? Well, um, I'm a local and every time, you have to believe me, every time when I enter the city, I just, I do like, oh, it's so amazing and something that you can't, you can't miss. It's just, um, I'm, I'm, I'm completely speechless. It's a small, small city with uh, so many beauty and art. And just to say 
it's uh, like 900 meters of the main uh, main street which is practically mm -hmm. the uh, the size of the uh, of the whole city and inside the city you have 32 churches so that walk of shame is 900 meters <laughs> and there's 32 churches in that area. Yes, it is an architectural marvel, and I think I agree with you. When you walk into that city, you just you disappear into a fairy tale. I know, and it's like, doesn't matter how many times I was there, it's just, it's, it doesn't stop giving me uh, like information and, and the beauty, and it's really amazing. So it's so hidden inside the walls, Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's like a pearl, you know, you just you discover it and you have to, you know, go the back pearl. and go back. And, the pearl of yeah. the Adriatic. That's good. Okay. We're going to show you another photo, mm -hmm. but and you're going to have to tell us where this was taken and what, what is going mm -hmm. on here. We don't, we're not really mm -hmm. sure what's going on in this next photo here. Uh, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> It's you, Vanya. What are you doing here? Oh my God! <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> because you never do the normal tours, and I didn't know that I would do the this kind of interview. Like, okay, can you do something <laughs> normal for once? <laughs> no, we don't do normal tours, and uh, we don't do normal interviews. Vanya, where was that photo taken? Do you remember? Uh, just I have to. I have to tell, say that. Just not to be mistaken, your tours are completely safe. So that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not shooting the tourists with the with the arrows. No, <laughs> no, but I have to say that I was the best there. Uh, that was uh, an amazing experience in uh, one beautiful fortress near a uh, city of Split. So mm -hmm. for the centuries, it, that small fortress was the capital of the ancient Croatia and our kings. And it was uh, also the um, uh, place where the Game of Thrones were filmed. Yes. Uh, really magical, uh, small uh, fortress where you also disappear in some, you know, medieval times, and you do crazy stuff like that. <laughs> I remember we were all quite tired, and it was getting late in the day, and we were debating whether we wanted to go or not, and we. Yeah. We surveyed, surveyed the tourists and we said, do you want to go or not? And they said, yeah. And we went and there was nobody there. And it was just us. And we had a bottle of wine and a little picnic. And we watched the sunset from this fortress looking over the Adriatic. It was just, I couldn't believe that, you know, it was my third or fourth time to Croatia. And that was my first time at Kliss Castle. It was spectacular. All right. Now we're going to show you a little video clip. And we want you to listen to this lovely music and this is also something very special to croatia so uh our our uh, listeners and our watchers will quite enjoy this <laughs> So what is going on here, Vanya? Well, a lot of handsome men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the Mesh was also known uh, for a really handsome, uh, handsome men and and women, but uh, <laughs> handsome women. Good. <laughs> I'm joking. Just uh, no, give no, me seven p.m. here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're singing, uh, if you didn't notice, they're singing and it's a traditional way of singing uh, from Dalmatia. Mm -hmm. And um, it's called a cappella, that means no instruments. So right. the yeah. voices and traditionally there were men who were singing. Today you can find also, it's called klapa, like the gathering of the people. Yes. Um, you can find also women uh, singing that. Oh yeah. I also sang in one klapa. And yeah. it's um, it's really special and beautiful experience because you can really enjoy the beauty of the voices. You know, no instruments, just uh, just the human voices that are producing everything. And people get um, together in that, that special spot. I believe that's in Split. 
Was that in Split? That's a spot. That's yeah. a spot for for singers uh, because it's a one part of the Palace of Diocletian, uh -huh. and uh, it's for the from the fourth century. Really beautiful uh, space in um, uh, in uh, in stone, like right. And the acoustics, beautiful, just, beautiful right. acoustic. Uh, so I also think that that experience of listening Klapa. Uh, in in city of split is just yeah and and uh, and uh, people just get together on their own to do it and and we've noticed that there's a there's lots of interesting Dalmatian activities there's even a special sport a beach sport that's Dalmatian only we won't talk about that today because we'll run out of time but we're gonna stick with the theme of Dalmatia and give people another uh, acoustic experience here just a little farther up the coast from your hometown of Zadar. Oh. So everybody take a listen to this special, unique uh, experience that comes in Croatia. So what is going on there? Is there some kind of sea monster coming up from the, the ocean? Uh -huh. Yeah, oh, are yeah. you scared? <laughs> a little bit, yeah, nervous. Yeah. Uh, you should be. These are the sea organs. Uh, the only sea organs that exist in the whole world, just in my hometown. I'm so proud. <laughs> and it's, um, uh, you see just like the stairs, uh, but inside the stairs are the tubes with the different mm. sizes. And uh, so as the sea is pushing the air, air is passing and go through these tubes and making the sounds. So you can never have the same sound, depends of the sea, of the wind, of the maybe boats that are passing by. Yeah, and the temperature it outside. Be, it can be really quiet and serene, or it can go wild, like a rock concert, if, really? uh, if you have some, um, you know, bad weather, let's say. Well, and uh, it's a beautiful place to watch the sunset and sit there and and enjoy some. Can I say something? Yeah. But Hitchcock said that we have the most beautiful sunset in the whole world. Who and said? also during the summertime, people, they just, it's so relaxed and so nice that they, um, they jump into the sea and they swim there. So you swim, you hear the music, you have beautiful sunset and how amazing it can be you know it's i and the seafood and you can enjoy some beautiful seafood and the one thing i gotta say i liked about swimming in the adriatic is uh there's no jellyfish no sharks uh so mm -hmm. for people that are afraid about uh, you know different seaweed and sea urchins and sea animals the adriatic is the most peaceful safe place to go with your family and your kids or just enjoy on your own so let's move on to another enjoyable uh thing that you can enjoy in Croatia, in this part of the world. And what is going on in this photo here? What is what is our good friend Damien holding on to here? Well, I have to say, look how happy he is. <laughs> <laughs> Damien is a very serious guy. Damien is our other very uh, favorite guide in Croatia that we worked with for many years. And he's holding up a special bottle of some drink here. So. What is that? What is that? That's a small danger, you know. <laughs> it's called the rakia. And uh, I think that he's holding the herb rakia. So any uh -huh. kind of herbs that you can put, because of maybe 50 herbs that you put, one will help. help. So it's <laughs> healthy. <laughs> oh, one's healthy, yeah. We start with rakia in the morning uh just to you know prepare the organism and the stomach and you know the throat if you're singing before singing you need a bit of rakia so it's a quite strong alcoholic drink but yes. really good for the health and uh if you can't fall asleep what do you, what yeah. do you do <laughs> and so it's like it's like a vodka or a brandy is it it's it's like a vodka or brandy but it, we do with the herbs or from some kind of fruit depend uh, of the region and uh we have uh oh do you did you try this rakia from the mistletoe i don't think the I did. christmas is coming and uh i have to send you one <laughs> Please do. I know you make all kinds of interesting uh, concoctions with herbs and creams and bombs and things like that. So uh, we all came home from our last trip with different uh, 
different uh, lavender bombs and things that you made. So for our guests that like that kind of stuff, uh, Vanya is a specialist in lavender. And uh, the island of Juar is the, the best place to gather lavender, is it not? Yeah, yeah. I always uh, I talk about lavender and my tourists, usually they, you know, they after after spending time with me, they know all about lavender. Uh, <laughs> it's a really special plant and uh, the island of Juar is uh, practically the number one island uh, for lavender. Why? Because it uh, has uh, more than 360 days of sun. So wow. it's a really perfect spot. So wine and lavender and the olive oil is the number one uh, product uh, or, uh, yeah, number one product uh, from yeah, Island yeah, yeah. It's really something special. And uh, it's beautiful. Like if you go in May, you mm -hmm. can find still like the fields of lavender and just in front of you is the sea and you're in 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 you know in the lavender field sounds relaxing um, another yeah. is fascinating uh, thing that you can find in croatia that uh, people may be surprised is uh, truffles and truffle hunting in the in the peninsula of pula um Istria. Yes, Istria. Yeah, yeah 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 it's the city of pula and uh, the whole region is called istria and that's something that i really love uh, especially because we have a white truffle, which is really rare. Hmm. And usually you can find more or less easily the the black one. You have different okay. types of a black uh, truffle, but the white one is something that once you taste it, it's you will not forget it. It's even... Uh, it's more soft taste of the black one, uh, mm -hmm. but... Uh, in the same time, it, it is, it's not less intense, but a bit more subtle, let's say. So and, if you go to Croatia, uh, you can one, enjoy... Yeah, the other one that costs a little bit more than a black one, but it's worth of, of trying. Um, it's something that you, you have to, well, when you come like here, you have to try. So if you go to Croatia, you can enjoy olive oil, lavender, wine, truffles, all kinds of things. There's one other thing that we'd like to ask you a little bit about, and we're going back to the jewelry in Dubrovnik, which is a special unique jewelry uh, in Dubrovnik. Apparently, it's only made in Dubrovnik. I don't know if this is legend or if it's true, but uh, this is a very popular item, and these... Maybe, Vanya, you could tell us a little bit about these. Yeah. Um... These this jewelry, it's true. They they only uh, made them in, in Dubrovnik and, and surroundings. Why? Because uh, Dubrovnik was a republic, and they were uh, quite special on a lot of stuff. And they were always wealthy through the history, so they 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 could um, evolve their um, uh, expertise in in yeah. also jewelry. Uh, yeah. It's something that you can find only in Dubrovnik. Oh, <laughs> this is, sorry. <laughs> Okay. Like a little Vanya. <laughs> uh, so you can really find it only in Dubrovnik and it um, comes from the, uh, oh my God, what it's called uh, from the shirt when you have a um, button. Button. Yeah. yeah button. Um, from the buttons on the shirt, for example, they also had the same uh, a golden, uh, uh, that kind of rounded shape. Right. Uh, they're using also for the jewelry, and it's really uh, it's really beautiful, especially when they do it in gold. And I know when you're walking along the streets of Dubrovnik up and down the alleys, you can see the artisans actually sitting there with their little microscopes, and they're making it, they're hand doing each one of these little things. So yeah, they're um, really proud of that. Yeah, that's something I thought was very fascinating, and a lot of people like those souvenirs. Okay. Um, uh, we're going to go to uh, uh, another video here. And uh, this was from a special, t a special night we had with you and our guests in, uh, in just outside, not far from Dubrovnik, right, just across the border in Bosnia. So take a look. Just, uh, just a few hours. <laughs> Kada mi dođe, neću da se kajem, jer se za pesmu izađe. 
And that was the owners of the restaurant, and they just liked us so much they decided to burst into song. Tell us what was going on there. Well, I'm just I'm sorry, I'm still laughing. But that <laughs> night was really special. That's why, because you're trying to find always some kind of, uh, you know, local things, and then you get local. <laughs> mm -hmm, yes. Yeah, we're always looking for something special. And uh, by the end of that night, they were dancing and singing and, and people at the other tables started singing. We thought we were bothering the other tables and they looked very serious. And then they turned around and just started singing as well. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's called a Bosnian soul. It's just like uh, maybe 30 minutes from Dubrovnik, if I remember uh -huh. well. Yes. And uh, it's, uh, they're known, just a second. Anuk. You have a little monkey there, yeah. yeah. I have a little monkey, I'm sorry. <laughs> that also loves camera, uh, obviously. Uh, that is called Bosnian soul. You know, they just love, uh, they love offering, they love gatherings, they love. So when they, when they saw that we are ready for, you know, communicate and to have fun, they just like, yeah, okay, you'll get it. <laughs> well, and, it uh, and we did have local family uh, owner with his wife and son. Uh, they're running their uh, family business, really small one. <laughs> and uh, we, we really did have fun that night. I think we maybe we had a little bit too much rakia. And uh, uh, this is this is some something special happened a little bit later that night, and we want to share that with you. <laughs> Oh my god, do I have to comment that? No, uh, that's okay. I want to tell everybody that it, uh, that was my mother in the background there and some of our other guests that came on our, our Crossroads of Europe tour. We had such a great time with you and uh, we were always exploring and going on little adventures and uh, for people that wanted to go shopping, for people that wanted to try different things, you were so great in showing us around. And, you know, maybe accordion is not your, your thing. <laughs> But <laughs> it's not mine either. <laughs> so, but uh, oh, oh, well, I enjoyed it. That's that's the most important. Well, what I have to say with you, they can expect unexpected, and really, uh, you're the master in 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 finding like some secret places because uh, it's just you do everything that no one no one does, and it's not about just. It's like you take me to that to that place. Do you think that the others yeah. owners of the agencies ha have that that video? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we uh, experience we, uh, with you. It's um, it's something that um, wow. yeah, it, it's beyond. It's beyond everything. Can well, I travel um, with you? <laughs> yeah. Well, we have noticed that other people have said that to us when we're in Ireland or in Ukraine or in Romania or in Poland. Uh, they'll say to us, you're the only travel company that wants to do these special things. And I think uh, you have to be willing to go outside of the comfort zone and, and explore. And, and we take our guests with us so they don't never have to feel uncomfortable. But we, we give them a real local experience, which is something that you can't do when you have 40 people on a bus. You know, so uh, yeah. thanks for going exploring with us, Vanya. Speaking of... We would be a miss. We're almost out of time, but we would be miss if we didn't mention Zagreb, the capital city. You're in Zagreb right now. Yeah. We're in the middle of a pandemic. You guys had an earthquake this summer, uh, but it is a beautiful, beautiful city. And uh, um, tell us a couple of things about uh, Dubrovnik, uh, Zagreb. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, maybe you prefer Dubrovnik, uh, but Zagreb is the capital and it's really, um, it's a really nice and cozy place and something that you can uh, show as opposition how, how Croatia is a rich country.
because mm -hmm. when you're in Zagreb, you feel like you're in a maybe small, you know, northern, like small Austria, let's say. The architecture yeah. is completely different as a mentality, as a language, as we know already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a second. Hey, the a um, so Chikai. we know that word for my Ukrainians in the audience, Chikai in, in Croatian is also Chikai, right? Chikai. Yeah, it's Chikai. It's like, please wait, give me a second. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's a really beautiful, cozy, green place, completely different from the coast, offers mm -hmm. great astronomy and, uh, well, when it's not a lockdown or Corona, uh, yeah. It offers really great um, cultural um, offer. Um, it's uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, baroque also city, and um, it's like end of the nineteenth, beginning of the twentieth century. Yeah, beautiful place. Yeah, yeah. It was it was it was a beautiful city, and I really felt at home in in Zagreb. You could walk and go to the cafes and go shopping. Lots of festivals and cultures and unique museums. It's a, it's a very creative and artistic city. And it's the very first in the world to have this museum of broken hearts. And yes, that's kind of a unique it. thing. And tourists were flocking to go to the museum of broken hearts. If Do you want to go there? I've been, I've been. But if our, <laughs> if our people want to Google that, the museum of broken hearts in Zagreb, Croatia is a must-see destination. And uh, it's it's an excellent city. I hope we get to go again soon. We have a comment from one of our favorite travelers. Bernadette has tra uh, written and she says, when this damn pandemic is over, I'm going with you. So I don't know if she's talking about me or you, but she's coming with us to, to Croatia. So. Not with us, you know, you can be, you, both of you. <laughs> I like Bernadette. She seems wow, she's yeah. fun. Bernadette, Bernadette. Bernadette's the best. That? She's been with us many times. She's a blast. Yulia has just written here. She says, Yulia, Vanya, I miss you. Yulia is from our Lviv office, so that's really sweet of Yulia to jump in. And uh, look at this, Carolyn. Do you remember Carolyn Welleschuk? Yes, yes, right. yes, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Carolyn and her husband, the two Joe, such amazing yeah. and beautiful people. My God. It's... Yeah, and you bring great people. That's another thing. Like They have to pass a test to be able to come on our trips. Oh, okay. Do they do this kind of interview with the questions? <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> For them. <laughs> no, you know what? We have such a great following of, of people that like our Facebook page, follow us, uh, come to visit us at our festivals. You know, Sometimes we'll have an open house and they'll just come to say hi because they had such a great connection with us on their trips. And people that have come with us to Ukraine have come with us to Ireland and come with us to Croatia. We hope to expand in the years to come and keep offering excellent trips uh, with you, Vanya, with Damien and the rest of the crew in Croatia. And so thank you for joining us today. This was really fun. And it was great to see your daughter there uh, yeah, meeting around. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm so glad, you know, it's... Uh, I'm so grateful that you called me because this is a, a, a small throwback that just made my week or month, you know, it's Corona. <laughs> yeah, it's good. We, we actually had an interview with Mohammed from uh, Sarajevo as well. And that was oh, a nice yeah. thing. He said the same thing. It kind of uplifted his spirits because we have we're, nobody can travel right now. So we're just kind of either dreaming about the future or reminiscing about the past. So... Uh, <laughs> But stay healthy, stay safe, and yeah. uh, we'll be traveling together again soon. Thank you. Kisses from Croatia. Or Kisses Jamaica. from Croatia. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Vanya. Till next oh, time. Bye, 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 bye. Uh,